And I am born to a former military officer in World War II. He brought me closer to government and responsibility of the state. And I said I want to be useful to my country. For them. In management, it is asking about the vision and the mission. That's what I discovered when I was doing postgraduate studies in the science of management and leadership and management. That the vision became I want to be useful. The mission became to who and who and who. Then the others are how. That is how my life started, and I said, what is it that I need to be better? And I said, I needed education. And I started primary one at the age of 21. Thanks to teachers like Mr. Bundotik, Mr. Koyej, who taught me in primary school to write like the first man, and taught me English Thanks to Mr. Kia, who taught me mathematics. Thanks to teachers in high school who taught me, like uh, my friend Mr. Agnolo, who is retired, maybe he's watching by online now as I speak, because this message is transmitted. Then, thanks to those who taught me in university, like Dr. Anonbai and others. The English I speak today, I learned it from age 20, 21, upward. I wrote my examination when I was 37 years, CPE then, and I had um, 34 points out of that six. And <clears throat> I had an A in English, an A in mathematics, general paper, I had B+. Plus. That's how I was. And from there, I grew and university and so on. In the middle, I got married to Rose. She was actually in the choir when I was sitting there and watching her as the skirt was singing left and right. And, <laughs> and I said, wow. Uh, then the right figure looked at her with the crooked legs, but I had a right up mind. Anyway, got married. God blessed us with four adult children. Um, I got eight grandchildren, uh, and so on and so on. And God called me to the ministry, served God, way back in from 1974. I was ordained in 1977. And all the way, the Lord has been faithful. For faith, 45 years of his faithfulness, God has been with me. 